Hi, John here. It's Tuesday today, 17th of uh, May 2016. I just want to show you what it cost me for all these medication here. I think for them, 40 bucks worth. And this is what's killing me. So this, I'm going to give them up. I'm going to give them up just the last time I'll be taking these, these, these things. Missing them, you see. Missing them all the time because I forget to take them. And that just slows the blood pressure down when I'm doing these documents here of these crooked John Key government. I need a couple of those. You see, I'll take one or two and forget the rest because they're very strong, very strong to slow you down. And I think they're killing me slowly. And I'm going to the gym to beef up, get my strength back, and I'll fix it up myself. Fix the problem up myself. Um, so that's really all I want to say. Other than that, we've got our flag flying here, and we're just doing our documents for the court hearing. Um, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, um, Police Detective, TIB. Criminal Investigation Bureau. They have to investigate themselves, the criminals themselves. Very bad. Um, with the Panama um, Papers, uh, the tax um, haven here in this country, New Zealand, it's rampant because they've got no one checking them in their laws. And I've been through it and I'm shocked. It's, I'm on page 337 of just the laws, just the um, Crimes Act 1951 and Crimes Act 1961, 1958, I'm just pulling them apart and pull out, just show you how many laws that she broke to arrest me and says I trespassed on my own land and um, forced entry into the office when I didn't. Um, but now, but that's what she's pinning up against me. So I'm turning the law on her and the rest of the police who have committed the same crimes in their little clubhouse at the back in the fraud squad. Um, so they gave me a hard time and the other police, um, Tim Duffy and uh, Aaron Pascoe. Um, so uh, I want to show you how to do a perfect fraud, a perfected fraud with the Prime Minister driving those uh, scam um, businesses they have running there in their government. Um, it's a combined effort of police, um, um, abuse of law, and um, the Navy, John Martin, and uh, also um, the, the Governor General, Jerry Matapai Andrews. With him, he's the president of the Waitangi National Trust Board in the Treaty Grounds and he's going to be the new ambassador to New Zealand in Britain <coughs> now that they've chosen a Pākehā this time from a Māori they've, they've set this all up and I want to catch them before he goes to England I'll be there before he does and to head them off with who's the right king and who's the right monarch to run this country with us in contract. We have a private contract with this flag here, the jurisdiction of authority. And all my documents you see online, on Facebook and on YouTube, uh, those are his seal with him on his horse. 
and his ship of admiralty that's a real admiralty, not vice admiral, that um, John Key is using in his government. And you'll see that I've put the Tonga news uh, item there of um, John Key supposed to be arrested. His number, he has a, a, a Crime Act 1961 number um, of his uh, court um, police charge against him in the Crimes Act 1961. His number of his uh, charge order is 0912186055. I'm going to follow that up from the December um, 2009 when he's supposed to be arrested for opening the new Supreme Court of New Zealand without a Queen. That's the time after the treaty, uh, after the um, Lisbon Treaty uh, was signed in 2008. And then following that, these all happened at the same time. The Queen went out of uh, Westminster Parliament into the EU Parliament. They're caught now between a rock and a hard place with Moai and King William's um, Admiralty court martial laws right up against them. Now, in all of that, the Pope has uh, demolished or destroyed all corporations and trusts, including the Auckland District Court, which is using trusts in their setup of using people as property and birth certificates and bonds. In this case, my arrest came with a bond and a number, PRN number, against me, the natural person. I'm going with my barrister into the Auckland District Court to challenge who's the signatory, the countersigned signatory of what I signed as the bond uh, to release me, it's like Blackmail. Black from prison and sign a bond of some money somewhere inside a trust. Now this is the the uh, art of a perfect perfected fraud case that I'm doing online straight in front of the world. You get it first before the barrister or the court judge um, Collins gets it. So. I want to show you um, how I'm constructing this from the Waitangi Marae uh, King's Bench Court with this flag that's flying on the ship in the paddock on that treaty grounds. That's the only ship of Admiralty in the whole world with a King's flag and his seal on his horse and his ship right there in the paddock on dry land. It's fixed hard to the ground and that's the only courthouse in the world on a native land that they base their, their I'm talking about New Zealand government and Queen Elizabeth, their contract partner to their iwi Maori um, authority with no flag. This is not their flag. That's our contract with the king straight to the hapu chiefs of the Waitangi Marae now, we went in there to claim the Marae and the flag and the ship of Admiralty back to us, the chiefs of that contract, the private contract between us and the King of England, uh, King William IV. So I'm just constructing this case from the Marae online with the seals, as you see around the documents, you'll see them there, and his Admiralty ship anchor there and his coat of arms on my shirt and that authenticates these documents and um, uh, everything I'm making statements they are, they are uh, to be refuted by her she has to have a full disclosure I'm talking about Natalie Flower Dew Brown the detective that's on the foot end of me now from the court bench of King William and she has to defend herself in front of the judge. The judge is only a referee. I'm saying to the judge Collins and my barrister, they're there to adjudicate one side and the other in these New Zealand laws when I have a higher authority law 
with a seal and the confidence, the, the, the uh, statement of confidence inside my documents and this flag and the seal of Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament that's fixed into statute law extent forevermore. No one can change it, only the sheriff or an officer of the king from here on our native lands. So it's no one proficient enough to do that job. I'm standing in as his spokesman, the king's spokesman, to nominate um, King Ernest Augustus V into Parliament as the new king of England. He's already the king of Britain, UK and Hanover as to this day. And we're just going to set that up as soon as I deal with uh, Jerry Mataparai, part of the fraud scam, um, um, uh, Panama Papers uh, tax havens here set up in this country. I will have all of that with this <coughs> court hearing um, to show you how they're constructed for their own private interests, their investment interests to themselves. And you can see now that the Navy was not there for us, the chiefs in the hapu, and um, only there for John Key and his corporations, trusts, and um, uh, the uh, police, and the judges and the courts in the courthouse, all doing the same fraud right through the world. And it's triggered off from here, the Queen's using our Admiralty of King William for her authority and we're taking it off them online. These are court cases that I'm doing, uh, um, trial by media and trial by mass um, audience around the world watching what I'm doing here in front of you and um, keeping abreast of the law here in New Zealand as against the law we have already inside this flag, the 1835 Declaration of Independence, um, authority to Westminster, direct. So that's what I wanted to tell you today, is that I'm going carefully through these documents and putting my story in, and then I give it to the barrister, and he will interpret it as instructions from me, the officer of the king and sheriff, um, to tell him what I want to do with Natalie Flower Dewey Brown and getting our land back. Now Napui Chiefs has told me in meetings we've had up there with the Chiefs of the 39 Marais and uh, including Titi Marai and uh, Kingi Taurua uh, that they want their land back. They want everything back, they want their control, they want their flag. Uh, of authority put back in place legally and that's what I'm doing for them and to get authority back into their marae and take the marae over back into their land title that they are they can do that legally because the crown has been fraudulent on their lands and I'm here to do that legal job for them better than a lawyer can on our native in our own words. Um, so that's um, really a challenge to the Navy and um, the use of our marae and our carvings of our chiefs and our hapu and the iwi is liable as well. All of you people that are watching what I'm doing are liable. Anyone that get their name published is liable. You're liable for every single property bit you've got. Every asset, every bank account, everything is going to be forfeited for your part in this scam fraud that John Key is leading and running rife with law. Here, breaking it left, right and centre, breaking the Treaty of Waitangi on that side, on the Iwi side of the equation, and breaking out, worst of all, the King's laws in our side. We have the right to take our land back, and I'm going to take Cook Street back 
whether or not the government has other plans, we have the last say. If they cannot refute any of what I'm saying in these documents, that's it, that becomes the law. Silence is no excuse for not refuting what I'm saying. Natalie, proud you, Brown, this is to you. You have to answer what I asked my barrister in um, instructions of telling him what I want. I really want you out of my road and every other policeman off to the side while I go and get that property back. I have the illegal right and the mandate from our chiefs up north and the rest of the conf confederation of chiefs to seize any piece of land back into their custody um, because of your fraud. I just prove to you that you have committed fraud, blatantly broken the law, the New Zealand law, the 1961 Crimes Act, the 1951 Crimes Act, and every other 19 and every other Crimes Act that is listed in these documents I'm putting together. I'm only on 334 page and I've still got some more to put in yet, just to make it clear, clear cut that we are following the laws of New Zealand and Westminster laws at the same time. Okay, so that's all I want to say. I just want to show you my little bundle of joy here, these terrible stuff they jam down your throats. And a nurse comes and sees me. The other nurse finish, then they'll send another nurse to make sure I kill myself and, and, and take these things to slow my heart down and that's what it does. It, it, it does everything but the right thing, but it's supposed to be there to, to compensate for a stent that's needed to go inside you if you open the arteries up. So I'll find another way to open them up. If not, I'll get a pair of pliers and open them up myself. Um, so uh, well that's about all I want to say for now and uh, I'll just get back on to the job and um, um, uh, those are down east coast at Rangitukia I was just talking to Rafa Takar, my uh, good friend there and to um, get ready um, and um, take a few shots of the river because we want to build the crown and the iwi for all the erosion of uh, Rangitukia, the Waipu River. They've wrecked the whole place and, uh, and all our shorelines um, from cutting logs and devastating the with those forest pine trees are going to go. We're going to rip them out and chuck them off and put other hemp and other um, uh, trees there back in the, the original trees that have all gone to England and to those people who are making all these laws. We're going to um, enforce our own authority on our lands and they're having Rahuri, Rahui up uh, Napui at the moment around on the um, eastern side, Motari Bay and down, down towards Hauraki and back onto the other side in Hokianga and uh, I'm in touch with them up there uh, with Kingi Taurua um, to do what I'm there to do for on, be on their behalf uh, to um, get this law part done for them and their marae. They want their marae back now, John Key. You're, you're being crooked inside there. And there's three trillion dollars missing. There's three trillion dollars missing from using the Navy inside that marae. I'm going to find out. And when we see the list, of those people whose names will be on the Panama list here in New Zealand will be coming after you, the sheriffs will be coming after you who have the right to come there and seize everything off you. Alright, we're going to get that on its way and um, the British military, you're watching this video, this one's for you. You're obligated to do what we, we say as our partners to recover everything that is missing, including the Panama uh, tax scam here, all of that money missing, will assess the whole lot inside the 970 million trillion trillion pound note and split it out. At the moment it's a 
trillion pounds per crown agent that's standing in our road while we seize our land back. All those people on Cook Street, each one of you, 40 people who stopped me, and including Natalie Flower Dubrow, who took my shirt off with King William on it, my authority, my authenticity, and my mandate from Waitangi to do that job, the Sheriff's Officer of the King, you get a trillion pound on your head. And out of that, the balance goes to your boss, the Queen herself and the Pope and the Rothschild banks, you get the balance of a trillion. Each person in this country who's voting for John Key, you get a trillion pounds on your head too. And that's the law. That's the law of this flag. That's the law I'm saying in front of Ngāpui. They have a right to recover everything missing right back to 1830, King William was first become king, right through, past 1835 in this flag. We have the right to go back into that area any time. Okay, so once again, these are the things that kill you. I'm going back to natural, natural things. Heaps money for killing yourself. And they're spraying the water, uh, skies, spraying the skies. I just heard that they're doing that down in Tauranga. They're spraying the skies. I've got um, Moira down there in Whakatane. She uh, keeps in touch with me, she's my friend, uh, she's a, a Russell from Russell up north and um, the early immigrants and um, she's a very nice lady, is working with me and Jean in America um, uh, stayed with us here, is looking after the Indian um, people there and um, um, our Maori people here in New Zealand up north. Um, and working with me and the other ones in England and Scotland uh, they'll be sitting there um, watching and also um, uh, Desmond Wano, my right hand man down the coast and we're working with um, Rapata Ka and Tamati um, uh, Tamati uh, Reed my, my good friend there um, and uh, Joy um, I'm looking at your food uh, there looks scrumptious and I'm missing out on the kinos, um, but uh, that will never change soon. So, um, to you people down there, we're working very hard this in in Cook Street and Napui, and to the Napui people, uh, thank you for your support and um, belief in what I do uh, is going to be fruitful in the end when we catch all these these uh, pirates and thugs. And John Key and his um, people. Um, um, you can see the fraud is rampant. They're out of control because there's no one checking them. And we go back into the courts and fix it up in the courts. There should be, and the idea I'm having here is to put our native court back into the uh, district court, the common law court part of the uh, structure here and uh, have some balance in, in accountability on use of our lands. The, 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 the main thing is we're not getting what we should be out of the deal from the Queen side and their mischievous iwi Maori uh, authorities that are looking after themselves and not the rest of the hapu and for that matter anybody in New Zealand s sitting in cars now, sleeping on the street in, in, in sheds in cars and, and that's terrible of this government here just shows you it's out of order it's out of order and we need to get rid of them in there and boot them out and bring the military from Britain here we we'll have to hurry because the Russians can come here as well with Sue Nakora the Maori government prime minister I'm backing her as well because she's on our blocks at home the Uapohotu Iruharama, Ruatorea, and with our Uataha, um, Hicks Bay and Tiaroa, Pōtaka and uh, Whakaingiangi, Tiki Tiki, and Rangitukea, uh, all that land block. The Pōtikiru or Ki Waipu area is where I'm inside that block, and our funding will be going straight in there. She says money's not a problem when she gets everything together. 
should be next week. I'm hoping she'll be up here. It's going to change, people. It's going to change, no matter what. John Key, you're on your last legs in this country, mate. You've got to go to England and face up to all your crimes there in front of the, the, the Rolls Building Court, the High Court there, because they have a direct link to us, and I've got your case in there already. Your name's on the charge list. Your lawyer, which is my lawyer, the barrister, the, the lawyer, you Tai Choi signed the documents with you in it, and everything you own will be taken from you to pay for your crimes. Every single thing. And everyone else of your ministers that are crooked as hell. And I see Nick Smith there. You, you can see the guilty look on your faces, people. And Judith Collins, you went to England. You should have signed the corruption, anti-corruption uh, um, agreements. You didn't. You come back because you're one of them. I'm accusing you of being corrupted with your milk scam of Aravita and all the rest of your scam business in this country on our land. For goodness sake, you haven't bought it yet. You're still occupying leases on our land. We still have it in our names, our Hutton names. The right ones. We'll sort all that lot out too. Well, who's on the land? And Napu is no better off having people on the land they don't even know. And so the same as the East Coast. We know who's who on our land blocks. And so I'm saying for the benefit for other New Zealanders, this is not a racial show. This is just showing you who's crooked. And it's just as much Maori just being invented by Pakias, uh, just as crooked as the Pakias who are running this country into the ground. Okay? So that's all I want to say for now. That'll do. And we'll catch you later. Um, um, and hopefully I'll have this already by the end of the week for the court case I hope is coming up for people who are watching I haven't been given a court date yet I'm surprised it wasn't last week um, and my barrister just said to me um, the judge will, will decide which day it is I've been very, very patient because I can bring it to a head and have the court case struck out because of waiting around it's costing me time waiting for since the 3rd of October last year for this case to be over and done with and um, I, I don't want them going through their disciplinary uh, disciplinary action for police no they get wiped out straight off when you commit a crime under this flag of King's Bench you get hung straight away or this treason this treason John Key's found to be treason. He can get hung if they want him to be hung. If, if, if people say they don't want him to be hung, then that's their business, not mine. It's not for me to say so. But in England, that's how the law is with this flag, because we have the right to use a rope in these acts that no one can change our contract. That's our private contract with King William IV. We're using 1830, 1837 acts of King William IV in this flag, inside Waitangi Marae, and our native tikanga, our own Maui law, not Maori law, Maui law, prevails over when there's a conflict of interest or a clash of laws, our law takes over. Our native law prevails over alien law. I'm telling you everything in my own capacity to say that on behalf of the King William for Waitangi Marae Court of Admiralty. That's what I'm saying. We are allowed to use these Admiralty Court Martial laws on anyone in this country and around the Pacific Islands. And they see Cook Islands named as the scam country. I've always known that, the wine box and all this. I was there in Winston Peters wine box cases running in the court I was going to while I was in New Zealand first. And um, um, and in New A Island, it it got it it it's rampant in there with these hidden blind trusts. The John Key's blind trust. He's gonna he should be blind himself as being fraudulent of the law, being blind, and we don't know anything. That's what he's saying. It's run by somebody, and that's constructed 
contract theft of money from the taxpayers here in New Zealand. We're going to find out all of that. We, we, I'm ordering it through this case with the barrister. He's being paid from a mystery man, which is me. The mystery man, they call it a straw man, and someone signed the mystery man trust account, and they're acting as if they're the beneficiary, which is me. I'm claiming that money in that account back. I don't want compensation. I want all of it back, right back from when it first started, the day that it started, the audit all the way through back to that day. That's what I'm asking you, Shannon Withers, Barrister. I'm ordering you in instructions to get a full audit on that account because I want to know who signed it when I countersign the, the bail bond to hijack me to come out of prison in exchange for getting money to pay themselves and you too got paid out. It's not your fault. It's the system that's run by John Key. He authorised all of these to happen and right through the, the, the police are getting paid from it and the, the judge is getting paid from you. are all getting paid from the money that's in my name likeness and my um, my image of me that you're mirroring around that person who signed it. And with Natalie Flower Dew Brown constructing your own law with your seal, your police seal, I put them on this document, your police, you'll have to explain to the judge what it means and who gave you the authority to arrest me and what authority from which monarch in Westminster, England, that gave you that authority of admiralty to use those instruments of the Pope Francis on me to extract money out of me through these devious means of misleading the court. You mislead the court. There's the police, the other police woman that was standing in Natalie Flower Dew's place, you're liable too because you said to me all these things when the when Judge Grant um, uh, Fraser dismissed me as being innocent and you stood out and said you have issues. You brought it up another contract with you with Natalie's fraudulent papers and they were, they were constructed as being forged statements of witnesses put into capital letters to deceive me and to to distort money from my name, use of my name mirrored John One Noah in capitals to make it into a corporate person and your companies, Auckland District Court and New Zealand Police extracted money out of my names that you constructed from me and arrested me, the natural name, and not those other names that you got there. You had to arrest that person. You arrested me and that account too. I'm saying to the people watching this video, they arrested me, the recipient of all of that inheritance money that they're helping themselves to. I want every scrap and bit of it. If I put a price on it, it's over a hundred million. And so that'll give you a ballpark figure of what I'm claiming against that. I put a trillion on it. There were, I'll drop one note on it. That'll do. That'll fix them up. And so they get that bill. A trillion pound for using that name, John Wanoa in capitals, to extract and distort money out of me. Illegally. <coughs> Alright? So, and after the Pope had destroyed those laws, they're still using them here in New Zealand fraudulently. I'm using that against them as well. You've got a lot stacked up against you now, and you'll be taking lots of those bills. You can have these. I'll give them away. 40 bucks worth. You can have them. Jam them up your mouth. And see if it'll fix your problem. Now, Natalie Flower, do you brown? There's this little one here will poison you quickly. Here it is. Fix it up. All right?
that's your 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 people's business and in the doctors they're making money out of this scam too yeah and and and, and, and that's what they do kill you slowly um so that's all that's all that's all i want to say i'm quite happy at the moment um to just carry on and finish my job off we'll make a good case of this precedent case for the rest of the world especially the indigenous people watching this video. It's you people that they're screwing your land, your native land, with the laws of England and the king's laws that they've screwed up with using the queen. The queen was the worst thing that ever happened on the wrong side of the bloodlines. Um, and the Rothschilds took it over as well. And all the US is falling apart with their money because it was a scam in the first place. Never to last. And so that's the fiat money that this government is using here in New Zealand. It's all scam money. And so there'll be an end of that lot too. We'll have our own pound note going against them. Anybody that gets caught and forward with this way, you get a pound note on your head. That's collateral against you. All right? And so I just want to give that back to the people of the world who are following us uh, online, uh, that I'm there for them and not just myself just put this together diligently using the law. Okay, so hooray for now. See you later. Have a nice day.